Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, I was going to talk about something I managed to find uh, about a week ago. Uh, so I was strolling through Facebook Marketplace, uh, as you all do. That's uh, pretty standard go-to. Uh, just on that note, the, uh, the, I'm really finding that the US Marketplace is really, um, really is a shit one to use at the moment. I just think it's just littered with resellers. It's hard to find genuine shit. Uh, that's there's, there's more to talk about that another date though. Uh, the Australian one uh, is relatively decent. You can find some stuff littered in there. Obviously, it's not really saturated with resellers. Same with the UK, not saturated, but there are like tends to be harder stuff to find. It's just sort of the way it is. So I was strolling through the uh, the marketplace down in Sydney. I uh, managed to find what was billed as a, a lot of uh, these Thomas the Tank Engine uh, playing cards. Um, so I, cl I clicked on it, and, uh, they're quite actually goddamn fascinating. Um, so these, these have Japanese writing on them. Um, uh, they're based on railway series pictures as well. Um, I've never seen anything like this. I don't know anyone else to have. I've tried to get the message out to see if anyone has. Um, uh, yeah, are they part of, like, a car cardboard game or something, or... There's no information about it. it, says Thomas, size, power, speed, character. Uh, I, again, don't know if that's the brand. Uh, again, I'm trying to find uh, more information about these. Um, Michelle Moore, see so Thomas, Edward, uh, Henry, Gordon, we got James, Percy, Toby, uh, Duck, obviously, you got Donald and Douglas, that's pretty cool with all the um, Japanese writing and everything on them. Uh, that is Oliver, yep, that's from Oliver Western, Oliver Western Engine, there's Harold, uh, you got Birdie from uh, Tank Engine Thomas again, uh, Skarloey, that's probably from, what's first, uh, Four Little Engines, it might be from uh, one of the other books that's got the features of Skarloey Railway. There's a handle, um, if you don't know the railway series yet, they're in different colours. Uh, what else we've got there? I believe it's Peter Sam, there's Peter Sam. Yeah, with a long funnel. Uh, we've got Duncan there. Duncan, oh, that's really cool. That's a Neil one. Um, like, Neil's just one of those, like, he's in it for one part of the railway series. He's just such a cool little character. So odd looking and everything. I love, I'm very fascinated with the whole Neil character thing. That's just me. Uh, there's Rusty as uh, this full black. Again, that's the railway series concept. We've got Mavis from Tramway Engines. Uh, the freight trucks, silly trucks, whatever you want to call them. Trucks. Yep. There's the spiteful brake van or NW brake van, as you know, if you collect Golden Railway. Uh, that's from Donald and uh, the Twin Engines book. Uh, Daisy. That's how it appears in the railway series from Branch Line Engines. Um, so we get this mixed up. Uh, that is Trevor. Uh, I forget what book in the railway series he's from. Uh, I don't know if it's Edward's Blue Engine or I don't know. I don't know that religiously well. The ins and out of every part of the book. Um, yeah, uh, that is George Steamroller. I think that's from it's from Branch Line Engines. George. Um, Step me. That's a really cool card. That's this great artwork on the um, like in the um sixties and. That mid sixties, I think it was. Uh, I forget. Um, Grosver, Grosner and Edwards, I think they were the, the illustrators. That that was really like the best one, I think. We call it the impressionist. Yeah, that's Stepney, Bill and Ben that's from Mainline Engines. Uh, I've got Coldy. Uh, so this is from obviously from Mountain Engines. Bulgy, that is from all over the Western Engine. You've got. Uh, a Bert, uh, Mike, and Rex, uh, all from small railway engines. Uh, yes, that's like I said. It's really I don't have any information about these. Uh, they're quite. It's just very mysterious, and I just can't believe that I found them in Sydney, like in Australia, of all places. It's just quite, quite fascinating. Um, definitely keeping these. Uh, don't even know if it's the full set. <laughs> I could. I honestly couldn't even. I've got nothing to compare it to, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so fascinating.
just something I had to have it. It cost me like I just to get the guy. I think the, the person sort of well didn't really want to sell because the kids and people have been like, oh, because they're scammers on Facebook. I'm like, okay, well, not really. I'm the one taking the risk here. If, you, if I pay you and you don't send it to me, so I'm like I'm sending pictures of stuff. I genuinely do collect Thomas stuff, and I think he eventually came around. And he was like twenty something, and he didn't even have a PayPal. I'm just like, what the fuck? What would you? <laughs> and he like laughed at that too. I said, yeah, I just did my girlfriend's use it. So whatever. Um, sorted out with this guy. Uh, I think yeah, he knew it was pretty valuable. I uh, think it's from his granddad. It was passed down to him. And yeah, I just to sway him. I just said like, oh, fuck. I threw everything out. I just said, look, I'll do two dollars a card, and there's thirty one in there. But I just said, well, I would just call it flat sixty, and he was like, yeah, cool, all right deal um but for that i think it's a fucking good price because again uh they have uh, i have yet to see them if you have seen them uh i'd love someone to really pass on the information i just find they're so cool just with the japanese um writing and everything i obviously got to oh you've got to think it comes from japan um it's hard to date them they're probably if i could even be as uh, early 80s maybe oh yeah that's to me it looks like something out of an 80s board game to be honest that's my if, if you've gone to my head i said to have an initial reaction bang what do you think it is that's what i think it is uh but still could be very very wrong um, either way, look, they're, they're, they're cool. Definitely add them to my collection. Uh, maybe in the next video I might go through some of the character cards that I've managed to acquire over um, the years of collecting. Character cards is something I definitely um, definitely enjoy, enjoy collecting and endeavour to get as many of them as possible. All right, guys. Well, that's a short video for today. Yeah, I just thought I'd have to show it off because it's really such a cool thing. Just an oddity to find. I just love it. We always, I think we always love it when you find those things that just like no one else really has like that you know sort of low-key and everything like that uh, okay guys hell uh, yeah like share the video subscribe to the channel and uh we'll see you guys next time bye bye